Knock a knock. Who's there? Yoroa. Yoroa who? Yoroa the boat that catches the fish. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day folks, this is Arboretum Dam in Yoroa. I've been uh, running my eyes over the Victorian fish stocking database lately and this small waterway here has had a few golden perch put in it and a heap of silver perch. I've never fished here before. In fact, the last time I was here, I stopped here on my motorbike on the way home from Melbourne about five years ago for a rest. And I vowed to return, but never have. This is the first time I've fished here. I don't know whether there's any redfin or carp or anything else in here, but I know there's been a lot of silver perch put in as well as a few golden perch. Let's throw some lines in and see if we can catch something. Right now, I'm using almost identical rigs on both rods here. It's a Pat Noster rig with, a, uh, with two Jan Juck worms on each hook. Now, I think the wind's going to drive me mad a little bit today. And it's going to throw that one out there in front of those reeds. It's probably not even very deep, but I think that's okay when you're fishing for silver perch. This one here, I'll throw this out further. I've one in far, one out far and one in a bit closer. I just had a bite on this rod here on the right. It's literally been in about three minutes. That was a nice bite that I just had. Come on. Nibble. There's lots of nibbles on this rod. Got him. What have I got? Is it a little silver? I think it is. It is a little silver perch. No, it's a little golden perch actually. I'll be buggered. <laughs> I've come here chasing uh, silver perch and I've caught a yellow belly and he's swallowed that down a little bit deep. Oh, isn't he? Just deep. A bit... I got it. I got it out, beauty. There you go. He'll swim away fine. Lovely little yellow belly. A golden perch. Well, I'll be buggered. There you go, mate. What, mate, what are you doing, you silly bugger? That way. That way, buddy. That way. Off you go. Oh, oh I'm free. I'm free. Go, go, go. <laughs> Took him a couple of minutes. Look, I'm just going to throw that same worm straight back out. In exactly the same spot. <laughs> According to the Victorian fish stocking page or fish stocking database, there has been a lot more silver perch put in here than what there has golden perch. So of course I caught the golden perch. <laughs> I've just realised that the footage so far from this trip has been very bright and washed out. That's my fault. That is pure operator error. I, uh, when I was fishing, when I was bait fishing last night, I upped the exposure compensation to one full stop just to make things a little bit lighter when it was dark, but I forgot to turn it back down again. So I apologise for the excessive brightness. Now I've got it one step below. Right, folks, a slight change here. I'm uh, going to a bubble float with my second rod. This one's getting a nibble right now as I talk. I put this in. And I'll tell you more about it in a moment. It's got about a metre dropper. It's quite hard to detect bites at the moment. Between the wind and it's so bright and... I don't know, I just want to, I want to put a float on and see how that goes. Got him. This is a better fish, and this is a turtle. Maybe there's turtles in here too, by the looks of it. Ah, he's upside down, mate. Mate, get your bearings right. Turn yourself around. Do the hokey pokey, mate. Turn yourself around. Just when you think you've got a better fish on, that's a dirty, a dirty old bloody turtle. Come here, mate. Come here, come here. I didn't mean to catch you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are everywhere. There you go, buddy. Oh, off you go. See you later, mate. Go, 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 you good thing. Go for gold. I don't come back. I swear he just turned around and said thank you. Now just before I caught that crazy turtle, I made a bit of a change. I put a bubble float on this other rod here. The, uh, the downside of using the bubble float on, the, on a windy day is that it's going to cover water. So every you know, five or six minutes, I'm probably going to have to get up, cast back up there, let it drift through, cast it back up. And I'm going to be doing that for ages. The upside is it's much easier to detect a bite when it's windy. The wind moves our rod tips around a bit, making it hard to see when the fish is biting, but the float 
it's just casually bouncing once it starts bouncing really fast you know it's a bite and i find it easier to detect a bite in the wind if i'm using a float my float's moving upstream oh there it goes something's got that it's got it what have i got the hell have i got here whatever it was it's swam straight into a snag probably before i had a chance to hook it i'm guessing whatever it was is a small fish that swam into a snag because i was too slow to set the hook bottom this other body while i'm tying on a new bubble float trying to rig up a new float and this rod's getting a real nice bite got him lost him got him very small it's a silver It's a lovely little silver perch, and when I say little, it is very little. Look at that. Tiny little weeny little silver perch. See you later, buddy. In the last four or five years, there has been 10,000 of those fish put into this dam, and I reckon that is just absolutely fantastic. Right now, put this one back out there where it was. Just I'm loving this type of fishing at the moment. Pond fishing for silver perch. I'm loving it, and there's some rings around my float. Oh, it's a bite straight away on here too. As soon as they're at the bottom, I've got a bite. What the hell? There's so much slack line. There it is. It's going to nibble again. This one's getting nibbles. My float's bouncing. It's all happening. Got him. Gee whiz, this is small again. It's another tiny silver. There's got to be bigger ones in here because they've been putting them in here for a few years now. Now hopefully that's not too bright. Hopefully the camera settings have uh, made it so that that's not too overexposed. But I'll check it when I get a chance to sit still for a minute. Just watching that float. See you later Silvio. Just going to throw this same worm back out. Oh, the float's gone under. I've just come back up. It's getting towed. Have I got him? Nah. Gee whiz, it's all happening. Oh, I was out further than that, but anyway, that'll do for now. Well, I'll get this other rod in. <laughs> that was about there, wasn't that far out? It was about there somewhere. Oh, the float's gone under. Quick, where is it? Oh, I missed him again. Oh, it's all happening. Look at this one here, I just reeled this in, I didn't even get a bite, I just reeled it in to check the bait and there is a tiny weeny little silver hanging under my float tiny little thing this is silver central this one this is good see you later mate I just had one of those moments where I thought I was filming but I wasn't really, I was just tricking and I, uh, I caught a little red fin under my bubble float so that tells me that there are redfin in here. Where's my float? Float must have gone under. It hasn't come back up. There's got to be something on it. Oh no, there it is. It's gone under. Look at me float. I can't get that float in at the moment. There it goes. It's getting pulled. That's good. It's dipping, it's dipping, it's bouncing. Now that I've picked the rod up, it's stopped. It's gone under again. It's gone now. Missed him. There it goes. There it goes. It's gone. Missed him. <sighs> what have I got on here? Bloody hell. I've been getting heaps of bites on me float up there, and while I wasn't watching, I've caught, I've caught a silver on here. <laughs> Arboretum Dam at Clint uh, Yaroa. There certainly are plenty of silvers. Here's a little bit bigger than some of the ones I've been getting. Still a long way shy of that 30 centimetre size limit, though. Pew.
gone under. Float's gone under, stayed under, stayed under. Got it. No, oh, yep, got him. Oh, it might be a bit bigger, this fish, too. Is it a 30 centimetre silver? It is. It's a bigger silver, but he's not 30 centimetres, but I am going to get a measure. Just to, I, I'm putting this one at about 23 to 24 centimetres. I'll get a quick measure, and then I'll put him back his lip hook, too, which is always good. All right, this is probably the biggest silver so far today. I'm guessing 23. And I think I'm going to be... It's hard to measure them because they bend like bananas. There's not even that. He's a... He's around about 19 or 20. So he's still significantly undersized. But he's a next grade of fish. Probably from a stocking a year earlier, I'd say. A nice silver perch today. See you later, buddy. You built it. They're getting bigger. There's got to be a 30 in here somewhere. Sure of it. Oh yeah, the fish are getting bigger. Now I just had a look at the Victorian Fisheries app. Yellow belly and silver perch are both subject to a bag limit of five per day. And they've both got a minimum size limit of 30 centimetres. That is as of now, which is March 2021. If you happen to be watching this video in 2024, well it might be different. But at the time of filming, they're both subject to five per day and the 30 centimetre limit, both the golden perch and the silver perch. The difference is the golden, golden perch can also be taken from the rivers. The silver perch are totally protected in rivers and creeks. You can only take them from lakes. And these little ponds, these dams are classed as lakes. So you can take them out of these ponds or bigger lakes like Lake Nilakuti, but you can't take them out of any river or creek. And like I said, that's subject to change. This is valid as of March 2021. It's a bite there, it goes, it's gone under, it's back up. It's gone under, it's gone under. Have I got him? Yes, I've got him, and he's a bit bigger. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe he's just tangled around the float. Oh, look at that. That float was further up the line than that, mate. Oh, one of the clips has come off. That's all right, I can put that back on. It's another little silver. Silver perch. Goodbye. I've got to put this clip back on here. You wouldn't believe what just happened to me. Two or three wood ducks just went past and I pulled the old finger gun out and went <laughs> I shot all three of them Anyway, I was just sitting here polishing my finger gun and it bloody went off and shot a hole in my air guitar Devastated. Devo. Totally Devo The float's gone under, it's getting towed now, it's getting towed, it's getting towed Have I got him? I think I have Yes, I've got him, he's very small, very small The smallest one today, I think That's got to be the smallest silver perch of the day. Look at the size of that. Wow. He's a tiny. See you later, silver perchio. Yeah, I'll throw that same mangled old worm out there. Seems to go all right. This one's getting a bite now. I'm trying to rig up my float rod. Got him. Trying to small, trying to rig up my float rod. I mean, Pat Nostrog is getting a little bit of a nib. Another little silver. Beautiful. See you later, mate. Right now, I put my float back out. Now, most of all the fish I've caught today have been small. But over the next few years, we'll start seeing a few bigger ones. And once we start getting some uh, some 30 centimetre silver perch, then we're allowed to hit them on the head and harvest them. They're on the menu. Because they're stocking so many, and we're catching lots of small ones now, it's just like redfin fishing, except I'm doing it with native fish. I believe that these silver perch have got the potential to become the native equivalent to redfin, the native redfin, where you can bring your kids down to a local waterway like this, throw a line in and catch a whole heap of fish, and maybe even one or two nice ones to take home for a feed. Pretty much exactly what we do with redfin now, and I believe that in the next five to six years, we're gonna start seeing silver perch fishing, just like we've, we're used to seeing with redfin. The new native redfin. Folks, this is the Euroa Arboretum Dam. I'm not sure whether it's Arboretum or Arboretum. Looks like Arboretum to me. 
But anyway, all that bushland over there is what they call the Arboretum. There's lots of bushwalking tracks through there. There's been people walking through there with cameras, people walking their dogs through there, and people just walking through there. It's quite a nice little bush reserve. There's picnic tables right along the other bank and right along this bank. There's a jetty. I think there's a toilet block over in the corner over there somewhere. This is a fantastic place to bring the kids fishing. It's teeming with silver perch, and there's a few other species. The, uh, the Arboretum, and this is the Arboretum Dam within the Arboretum, absolutely awesome. I caught a stack of silver perch, one turtle, one golden perch, and I caught one small red fin that you didn't get to see because I wasn't filming when I thought I was. I've just had an absolute blast. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have one, I'll give it a big fat thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you on my next adventure.